Ladana, no packages. Hello? Anyone in there? Yes. I'm with the KPD. Need to ask you some questions. Oh, and who's your friend? Friend? It's just me, ma'am. Oh, I have to go now. Alrighty. Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? Where can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well, they're just misguided. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean? Oh. You're immaculates. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say... No mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less 
comfortable, but it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. Zarsky, KPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no. There's no one here. Uh, did I not hear a pretty little girl just now? <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Pieta. Your little sister? No, she's my friend, silly. From school? <laughs> no, she's a special friend. Only I can see her. Ah, oh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend, too, when I was your age. Called him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. That's right. How old are you, Polina? Thirty-four. <laughs> Nine, you silly! Are you upset? Will you be all right? I'm... I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um... I, the building's not feeling well. No! Something is... happening. I, I feel... weird. Polina... Stop it! I can't! It won't let me out. What's going on in there? 1074. 1074. 1074. Let's give it a shot. Synchro 
Kerosene collected. Probably didn't do it any favors. Better not touch it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Injected. Strain level decreased. 